A lot of the patients that I see lately complains of muscular weakness. Older adults who once used to be so active has now become frail and weak. This can sometimes be painful to see because you can really see the decline in their health. The value of keeping our seniors active can never be underestimated. If not corrected, this will lead to what we call as the conditioning syndrome, wherein the muscles become too weak that even walking and other usual activities becomes difficult. Sometimes others may even become bedridden, leaving family members clueless on what to do. In this video, I will share with you the five best types of exercises that will target the specific needs of our seniors to prevent future medical bills and prevent the hassle and the complications of immobility. Greetings again to everyone. This is again Doc Cherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy. If you're new here in my channel, I would like to personally welcome you to join our growing community where you will receive weekly health videos on a weekend that will benefit our beloved seniors, you and the people you love. An age-related loss of muscle mass happens when we are in our 40s and speeds up with aging. This plus inactivity will predispose one to developing what we call as deconditioning syndrome. When we say deconditioning syndrome, this does not only refer to your bones and your muscle, but affects a whole process of body changes which also affect your heart and lungs. This is the reason why that specific exercises that will target the need of our seniors are very important because this will not only strengthen their muscles and their bones, but it will prevent different conditions, say for example, pneumonia, stroke, Alzheimer's disease, and even help control their blood sugar level. So if you are a senior, get up, get dressed, and get moving. Here are the best five types of exercises that you need to do. Resistance exercises. This is the most important type of exercise that you need to do because this will target type 2 muscle fibers in your body that will help strengthen your muscles. You can do this with the aid of dumbbells, therabonds, and ankle weights. You need to do resistance exercises at least three times a week and you will start to notice the difference within two weeks. Here are three types of resistance exercises that you can choose from. Biceps curl. You can do this either sitting or in standing position. Get a dumbbell and then you flex and then you straighten your elbow like this. Do it 10 times and then do it on the opposite hand as well. Doing this exercise helps strengthen your shoulder flexors which helps you to carry and move things around. Quadricep strengthening. Lie flat on your bed and using an ankle weight, you raise your leg up like this 10 times. Do it gently and do it on the opposite leg as well. Doing this exercise strengthens your quadriceps muscle, the biggest muscle in your inferior thigh that will ensure that you will not fall during walking, something very common among our seniors. Hip extensor strengthening. Stand. Hold on to a chair and using your ankle weights, try to move your leg backwards. Do it 10 times and repeat on the opposite leg. This exercise will strengthen the muscles that allows you to climb the stairs and run. Here is a tip. You start with a lighter weight. Usually, 2 pounds would be good for your upper extremities. But if the person or if the patient is too weak, you can start off with 1 pound dumbbell. For your legs, you can start with 1 kilo of ankle weights that you can buy in any sports center or you can buy online. If you think you are too weak to start off with 1 kilo, you can do so with half kilo ankle weights. If you can easily do 15 repetitions, that means that the weight is too light for you. You progress to a heavier one. 
But if you have difficulty completing eight repetitions of a certain exercise, that means that the weight is too heavy for you and then you need to shift to a lighter one. Balance exercises. Improving your balance can prevent a lot of injuries. It can prevent a fall which causes 90% of all hip fractures. Hip fracture is probably one of the most traumatic type of injury a person can go through. Plus, doing balance exercises can cause concurrent firing of your muscles from your head to your toe. Here are examples of balance exercises that you can choose from. First, start off with squats holding onto a chair for support. Stand and using a chair that you can hold to for support, bend your knee slightly at the range comfortable for you. Hold it for 7 seconds and repeat 10 times. You need to master squats holding to a chair first for support before you progress to the next one so that we will ensure your safety at all times. Progress to squats without support. The same with the previous exercise but this time you progress by not holding to a chair or surface for your balance. Bend your knees, hold for 7 seconds and then repeat 10 times. Here are some tips. Be sure that you are safe at all times while doing these balance exercises. You can ask any family member to stay with you while doing these exercises to ensure your safety at all times. Weight-bearing exercises Since osteoporosis becomes common as we age, you need to do weight-bearing exercise because this will directly work on the muscles of your lower legs your spine and your hips which will prevent further mineral loss. If you have osteoporosis and you also have a history of fracture, pool exercises will be good for you because the buoyancy of water will support your joint and your muscles as you do the exercise. Just be sure that you are safe at all times. Examples of the weight-bearing exercises that you can do at home can be one of the following. You can do wall slides. Stand with your back facing the wall and slightly bend your knee. Hold this position for 7 seconds and then you can repeat it 10 times. You can also do lunges. Stand with your hands both clasped together. Move one leg forward with your knee bent while the other leg is extended. Hold it for 7 seconds and you can repeat it 10 times. This will strengthen the biggest muscle of your anterior thigh. Stair climbing. If you have stairs at home, you can use that as a form of your weight-bearing exercise. Here are some tips for you. If you are going up the stairs, always make sure to put your stronger leg first. And then when you go down the stairs, always put your weaker leg first. If you have osteoporosis, the three examples of weight-bearing exercises that I had shared with you are considered safe for you because these are low-impact weight-bearing exercises, which means that they are safe even if you have weak bones. If you find this video helpful so far, I would really appreciate it if you can just take one second of your time to click the like button below so I will be further encouraged to make useful videos like this. Let's now proceed to the last two types of exercises that you need. Aerobic exercises. There is significant benefits for the health of people who regularly exercise. Always aim to do aerobic exercise for at least 150 minutes. That is equivalent to at least 2 hours and 30 minutes of aerobic exercise per week. When we talk about aerobic exercise, these are the type of exercises which uses larger muscles in your body that can speed up your heart rate. This is also the reason why aerobic exercise is also termed as endurance training or cardiovascular training because it does not only strengthen your bones and your muscles but it also makes your heart and your lungs function better. For your aerobic exercise, you can choose one from any of the following. You can do cycling, swimming, and even walking. 
Here are some tips for you. Start small, then progress slowly the distance that you walk every day or every week. This is to prevent injury. When you are walking, try to focus also on your posture, your head up, your shoulders relaxed, and your arms hanging naturally at your side. Plus, be sure that you are able to talk while walking. If you cannot do that, slow down your pace. Flexibility exercises. When we talk about flexibility exercises, this refers to stretching. You need to stretch your joints to prevent the normal decline of the flexibility or the way your joints move. Because you probably notice now that you don't move anymore like you used to when you were younger. And this can sometimes lead to pain in your shoulder, your hips, and your lower back. For your flexibility exercise, you can choose one from any of the following. Overhead tricep stretch. You can do this either sitting or in standing position. Try to reach your back with your elbow bent like this and using your other hand, hold your elbow for 7 seconds. Repeat this 5 times and do it on the opposite hand. Standing chest stretch. Stand. With your hands clasped together in your back, lift your hands up like this and pull your shoulders back. Hold this for 7 seconds and you can do it 10 times. This stretches your spinal muscles and improves your posture. Quad stretch. Stand. Grab one leg up at the back with your knees bent. Hold it for 7 seconds and then repeat it 10 times. Do it in your opposite leg as well. This stretches your thighs and improves your mobility. Here are some tips for you. Stretching should not produce pain. If there is pain, you stop. You can use hot compress for 15 minutes before you do your stretching. This increases the lubrication around your joint, it improves your circulation, and it increases your range of motion. Should you want proper and personalized evaluation and properly progressed exercises, please contact any licensed physiotherapist near you. Exercise should not be overwhelming. You start small and then progress. Eventually, this can make a difference. You choose one from the five types of exercises that I had mentioned to you. This would only equal to five types of exercise per day, but this can do wonders in your health. If you want a whole body strengthening exercise, I have made a video for that for those who are suffering from diabetes. You can do it too. Please click it here. Please share this video to your friends whom you think can benefit from this because now more than ever, our health is indeed our wealth. This is again Doc Cherry. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy. God bless you.